I wrote this last week. I'm recording this. I wrote this last week to uh, show you the formula to standardize a particular data value um, that from a normally distributed situation, right? We pulled it to a standard normal distribution. This is how we calculated the z score corresponding to some particular data value, right? So this is not really going to vary when it comes to um, the stuff this week. However, finding the z-score would change dependent on the distribution that you're on. So what I mean by that is um, if I'm on the distribution of the means or the averages or whatever, which would be this one, and actually I should probably color coordinate this thing, color coordinated stage, shouldn't I? Just to stay consistent. My lime green, <laughs> we did that yesterday. My lime green distribution, which is the distribution of the means, Okay, and the, the I think somebody was asking me about the true or false uh, question. Some of them asked about the notation, you know, that you, you, you know, you recognize the notation. So if I'm talking about the distribution, okay, the distribution of the means or the averages, then <clears throat> that z-score will be found by taking the mean so look, this is a data value, but now we're talking about mean because we're on a distribution of means minus the population mean of the, the sampling means or the average of the uh, sampling distribution of the means over uh, the standard deviation of that sampling distribution. <clears throat> uh, I'll show you with the example that we have. Uh, the other distribution was a distribution of sums, right? Distribution of sums. Wow. I really was about to spell sums with a Z. That's just me going too fast. <clears throat> Z is equal to the summation, the summation minus, so look, this was the data value because I'm on the basic, right, the basic type of distribution like last week. <clears throat> minus the mean of the population, standard deviation of the population. Now I want a distribution of the means. So it's the average, the sample, um, sample mean minus the mean of the distributions. And the terminology is like repetitive. But now instead of the data value, the mean, it's the summation minus the average of the distribution of the sums over the standard deviation of the distribution of the sums. So the, like the formula overall is the same. It's just that the notation is changing based on the distribution that I'm on, right? I hope that makes sense. So what I mean by that, <clears throat> when I come here, determine the z-score. Now I'm on the third distribution, right? So I'm using my teal color. <clears throat> I'm on the distribution of the sums, and I want the z-score for this particular sum. So in other words, they gave me this, right? They gave me this. I want to know what the z-score for this value is. Just like last week, I wanted to know the z-score of what this value was. I want to know the z-score of this. What is this sum? If I'm going to convert it to a standard normal distribution, <clears throat> the location of this sum, you know, what is the z-score? How far away from the mean? How many standard deviations away from the mean is it? Is it to the left, to the right, etc.? cetera? Um, and actually, we can indicate, I'm going to show you, since the center of this distribution is 55, 25, because the average of this particular distribution is 5525. <clears throat> and that value, that sum is to the left of it. I'm expecting a negative z score. Does that make sense? So let's find it. Z is equal to. Now they asked me about this particular value. <clears throat> so 5520 minus, let's go back to this, minus the mean. And technically, it's this formula just with the notation corresponding to the distribution. The mean of that distribution, which we found down here, 55.25, over the um, the standard deviation of the distribution, which in this particular case is this, 32.268406. So, you go to my calculator. In parentheses, I'll do the top, 55.20 minus 55.25. Close parentheses, I want that and then divided by 
32.268406. Negative, right? I expected negative. It includes three decimal places. So approximately negative 0 0.155. Negative 0 0.1 five five. Okay. Now, before I stop, I want you to recognize that it's possible <clears throat> that you saw these formulas for the z-score for the particular distribution, including this, right? Like if you see this, I'm going to re revamp this. I'm going to show you how I could represent this formula another way, right? I'm taking the summation of x, whatever that value is, minus the mean of that distribution, which is found with this formula, right? The n times mu. So the formula can include that, minus n times mu over, <clears throat> this is the standard deviation of that distribution, sigma times the square root of n. So I can have that in my formula, right? Sigma times the square root of n, okay? Now, <clears throat> either one works because they're both the same thing, but I think that this might be a little bit easier to deal with once you already find, obviously you want to find, the mean of the distribution and the standard deviation of whatever distribution you're on. But if you do see the formula represented this way, don't let it, you know, trip you up. It's really the same thing as what you did last week. It's just that you're on a different distribution. I hope that makes sense, okay? Um, so let me stop recording for a second and see if you guys